Eastern Hills family. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're in day four of Holy Week. My name is Paige, and today we're going to be picking up in a passage in Matthew. And then at the end of this video, you'll have a chance to create your own prayer chain. So just make sure you've got supplies to make this. All you'll need is some paper, some scissors, some pens and pencils, and then a stapler or glue, and you'll be all set. So picking up in Matthew, we come across Jesus in the garden, and he's praying to God. He's praying because he knows that two of his best friends are about to betray him, and he's also about to walk through the hardest time in his life. He's just feeling so alone right now, and so he's praying to God. Have you ever felt alone? I know I have. When I started middle school, I started at a school where I didn't have any friends, and I felt so alone. So I prayed to God every day that he would bring me a friend so that I wouldn't feel so alone. But as I prayed, I figured out I wasn't alone the whole time. God was with me every day. And I prayed to him and I found that I was comforted by his presence. Um, and so now we're gonna make a prayer chain so that this can be a nice reminder to you that you're never alone, God is always with you. You're gonna wanna just write your prayers on each slip of paper and connect them on the chain. And so that you can hang this in your room, you can hang this somewhere in your house where your family will be able to see it every day as a nice reminder that we can pray to God every day and we are never alone. And so now I'm gonna put some questions up on the screen for you and your family to talk about. As a family, read Matthew 26, 36 through 56 and 69 through 75. What should we do when we feel alone? Have you ever felt hurt or betrayed by a friend? Describe it. And then pray as a family and ask God for peace and contentment. Thanks again, Eastern Hills families, for joining us today. I hope you have a great rest of your night.